Okay, now Brenda, we're going to look at some safe techniques for coming up and down the stairs. The first thing when you're coming up and down the stairs is to always make sure that you have a sturdy, secure banister rail in place. Try and keep your body upright, try not to twist um, and certainly try not to use both hands on the banister because it start to bring you down in a sideways motion which is going to increase the risk of you tripping. So keep yourself straight looking up and ahead and starting to step down the stairs. Now if you have one leg which is stronger than the other, then if you lead with the weaker leg coming down the stairs, bringing your stronger leg to meet it. If you're finding that you're secure enough, then by all means come down the stairs in a more traditional manner, one foot ahead of the other. Okay Brenda, to go back up the stairs, we would just reverse that process. So to go up the stairs, you would lead with your stronger leg, bring the weaker leg up to meet it. Again, both feet on one step. And if you feel safe enough to do so, traditional manner again, one foot ahead of the other. If you find that you still feel insecure on the stairs, a simple remedy to that can be to have a second banister rail fitted to the wall the opposite side, thus providing bilateral rails. What that will do is enable you to keep your body straight and allow you to take more of the stress and strain through your arms. Okay Brenda, another couple of ideas that can make getting up and down the stairs a little easier. Particularly if you have stairs that have a high end post, you can use something simple like a short grab rail just to give you a bit extra support just as you come round the corner. These are also particularly useful if you have stairs which have a, a fanned area at the bottom where the stairs start off on a curve. or you can use what we call a newel rail, which is a rail which has a curve in it, which allows you to hold on as you turn the corner. Okay, Brenda's now demonstrating the use of a four-wheeled trolley. There are lots of different types of mobility aids available for use both inside and outside the house. This particular type of product allows multiple uses when you're carrying out activities within the home. This can be used in general around the house to give you more stability and more security. Because it has four wheels, because it's on a wide base, it's not going to topple and it can act as a substitute for a Zimmer. When you're considering your mobility, it's also vitally important to think about the footwear that you have on. It's important that you wear footwear that is preferably flat and that is supportive and comfortable. In addition, you also want to think about floor coverings and also any loose rugs which you may have around the house are either lifted or are taped to the floor. If you're finding your mobility difficult around the house, there are a few items of equipment that can be helpful. One of those is for your easy reach, and that's for picking up your mail. What that does is prevents you from having to bend down, which reduces the risk of falls.